Hi, it's Johnny, and welcome to a very special Madonna reaction video. Um, I don't normally jump on new announcements and stuff like this and do a reaction. Uh, with Madonna, I'm doing like 90s stuff, 80s stuff. I'm not really like bang up to date. But I'd seen the Vanity Fair photos that came out, and I was looking for a way to talk about them on the channel. And I've just reacted to the Dark Ballet video on the channel too. And then I saw this video, I haven't watched it yet, but I saw, I saw it on Twitter or something. And all the comments were like, oh my god, this is amazing, this is a piece of art. And it kind of looked a bit like the Madame X stuff, or, I don't know, maybe the photo shoot did. I thought, well, I don't know. I don't know if this is anything to react to. I don't know if this is a song, if there's even music in this. I'm just going to hit play and see if it's any good. And then after that, I just want to talk a little bit about that photo shoot. Um, I've got some thoughts. Hear me out. Discuss in the comments. Assuming that this is something worth doing a reaction to, then if I have to put something over the top to get it through the filters, go to patreon.com slash bridge the gap reactions and it'll be on there unfiltered. Um, if it just cuts to me talking now, it means I haven't been able to upload it at all. Sometimes, especially stuff like from magazines and award shows, it just doesn't go on. There's just no way. So if it now cuts to me talking, then go to the Patreon and have a little watch there. Um, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm about to see. I'm quite excited. Seeing those images come to life. I don't know how they do this. Rather than looking like someone's filmed a photo shoot, it actually looks like the photos come to life. This is incredibly brave and artistic. If you're looking for someone that's going to break this down and analyse all the art and all the imagery for you, that's not going to happen here, but I will have a little talk afterwards. A heart on that plate. Just to find my love. I've not heard that song yet. Goodness me. That's right. Kiss me. Isaac! Yeah, this, this is one of the ones I know. Alright, I've never seen anything like this. And neither of you. Neither of you. A 
but this is the baby's one. The music sounds incredible. These are remixes. Um, she looks brilliant. She looks so, so cool. misunderstood or unfairly judged for my belief. When a mind is imprisoned, then our spiritual life dies. When the spirit dies, there is no reason to live. What, what can I possibly add to that? <laughs> Oh my god, that was worth watching. That makes the photo shoot even more clear. This is even easier to talk about now. Um, first of all, quick disclaimer. Um, I guess if I'm about to talk about the Catholic Church, Madonna, possibly dead children, I'm possibly about to talk about that too, then you might disagree with what I say or even be offended. Now, that's not my intention. I think Madonna's intention probably is to provoke and maybe even to offend. I also think that's fine. It's fine to offend people. It's not my intention. I just run a humble uh, reaction channel. I just want to kind of talk about what she's doing here. I've been aware of Madonna since 1990 when I was 10, but I only really started listening to her properly about six months ago because of this channel. So I've been kind of experiencing her stuff in retrospect. So to see these photos come out on this video and see the reaction to it, the hysterical media reaction, it's kind of fascinating to watch all that bullshit unfold in real time. So first of all, I was raised Catholic as I believe Madonna was. Um, in my teenage years, I kind of turned my back on it. Uh, this might sound like a cliche, but Bill Hicks, stand-up comedian Bill Hicks, uh, someone gave me one of his tapes and I listened to it. I was like, oh, that's the second way of thinking about things. Because raised Catholic, I didn't know there was like another view on abortion or, or any of the other issues. He was talking about pro-lifers. I didn't know what a pro-lifer was. I was just like, well, that's the way to be, isn't it? I've learned, I've changed, I've adapted. After that, I started questioning the whole thing. So my views on religion probably align roughly with Madonna's, although she's probably thought about it a lot more than I have. So first of all, what even was that? Has she ever done anything like that before? I know she's done really arty, dark, disturbing videos, because I just did dark ballet, but that seemed like weirdly like a bit of a tour announcement. It had some of her greatest hits in the background. Is it related to the tour? I mean, it had some big songs in there, but they were very remixed or very different versions of it. Was this just a standalone piece of art just to get a point out? Is this like how you felt in 94 when you watched the Bedtime Story video? And we're just like, what the hell is that about? I need to go away and look up all this stuff. That's kind of my instinct now, is to go and look into all this stuff that's on that video, because 
fascinating stuff. While I was thinking about doing this video today, I watched a couple of crappy YouTube videos of people commenting on it and kind of saying how offensive it was, how blasphemous it was. First of all, attacking a woman for blasphemy for doing a photo shoot with religious imagery. Are we back in the 15th century? Is this Joan of Arc again? You're just proving her point. If you attack her for this, you're just proving her point. You're showing yourself for exactly who you are. Um, and by that I mean professional offence takers that go in the media, get offended by stuff. Um, you're playing into her hands. If you as a private citizen are personally offended by this, that's a different story. She's not trying to be polite, so if you're offended by this, yeah, she probably wanted that. That's fine. I mean, most normal people get offended by something and then they go on with their day, they live their lives. What they don't do is try and tear a woman down for expressing herself artistically. Now, as for the point she's making artistically, I've got no real idea where to start. I heard some people getting really offended by the dead baby dolls. Now, first of all, isn't every doll a dead baby doll? You know, is any inanimate object a dead version of that? I don't know. If that's true, then my kid's like toy box is full of like dead tigers, dead beanie baby dolls. Come on. Okay, but assuming those dolls do represent a dead version of that likeness, um, what's she trying to say? So what I did was I googled Catholic Church, dead infants, hit enter, and I got a story about 9,000 uh, dead infants in Ireland over the course of about 30 years that had been removed from unwed mothers, put in children's homes and just really poorly cared for. And if you want to disagree with that point, the head of the Catholic Church in Ireland has apologised for that and called it a shameful, you know, period in the country's history, the kind of stuff they always say. Okay, so then I remembered that this photo shoot is on the Italian, French and Spanish versions of Vanity Fair. So I added Spain to the end of that Google search, and then I got a whole story about the Catholic Church trafficking babies, you know, removing babies from mothers and, and actually telling the mothers that the babies had died, and then trafficking them. Now, I know this is getting a bit heavy for a Madonna reaction, and that might not be what this is about, but I think it's interesting that just from taking a bit of her imagery and just doing a little search or just thinking about it, it brings up some very real stuff that maybe she's trying to make a point about. And closer to home, there's the attack on reproductive rights in the US and obviously lots of other countries too. So I feel like she's raising some big points about that kind of stuff. Um, again, you might disagree with her methods, but that's fine. I don't think she wants to be liked by everyone. Reminds me of that line in Wayne's World when they say something like, Led Zeppelin didn't want to do songs that everyone would like. They left that to the Bee Gees. Um, that's not a knock on the Bee Gees either. There's space for both. She's not trying to be liked. She is kind of trying to push buttons. That's the point. And lastly, although she's not trying to be liked, the level of hatred directed at her for this is, is crazy. I've seen some really extreme stuff said about her. And clearly it's because she's a woman, a woman that's aging, a woman that's still artistic, pushing boundaries. You Madonna fans know this already. If you're not a Madonna fan, you're probably not watching at this point. But, you know, I just wanted to do a bit of a defence of it. Not that she needs defending, but do you know what I mean? I wanted to just kind of say, this is exactly what you want Madonna to be doing. You will know Madonna better than I do. You're bigger Madonna fans than I am. So you know more about this and how this fits in with her. But clearly, this is who she's always been. And this is who she's going to carry on being. She's going to be an artist. So when two weeks ago she announced the Greatest Hits tour, did anyone have this in mind? No. She's wrong-footed everyone again. You don't have to like it. You just don't have to take to the airwaves and slag her off. You just move on with your day. With this video, I've not intended to offend, so hopefully I haven't. Just exploring some issues. Um, if you want something a bit lighter, head to Patreon, check out my uh, Bedtime Stories album reaction. That, that's a goodie. So um, thanks very much. See you soon. Bye. Can I put this in my top 10 Madonna songs, please? <laughs>